Right, let's do a little rehearsal run. So, I'll go like that. Flick this switch to quick rehearsal run. Can I just look, look down there a bit so you can see it dropping? Right, you ready? Yep. So this will drop it. And then this will deploy the parachute. Yes! Damn, smooth! <laughs> right, now let's do it for real. Um, I might calibrate the compass on this. Uh, which is this remote, I keep forgetting which remote. Uh, so it's... Do the DJI dance. So I packed the parachute quite loosely so that when this releases it, it almost acts like a spring and it will just launch it out of the way. Uh, I may need to... I may need to fight you the packing thing because it's quite... It's not very aerodynamic on the front there. I think this is ready. It's ready. Okay. So I'm going to control it with both my hands like this. This releases the parachute guy, this switch here, then this deploys the parachute. So even if I can't get to the controls quick enough, I should be able to do it all in one go. <laughs> right, are you ready then? Yep. Go. Okay. In three, two, one. Send it. That actually looked quite stable. I can't tell, it's just a red blob. <laughs> nice! That actually worked! Where is it? It did, it did sort of glide down, but it, it did a spiral. I think I need to trim it out. <laughs> We've now got Brett Collins filming with his Mavic. Follow him on Instagram. This this is his Instagram right here. <laughs> Ping! That last drop actually worked quite well. It, it seemed to fall straight down, but it spiralled a bit. Uh, this time I'm going to try and control it somehow. I, I, it's probably going to be really sensitive, isn't it? But, oh, well, let's try it. I'm so nervous about it falling off before I drop it. Are you ready? Yeah. In three, two, one. Whoa, it's actually working. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, let me. So I try auto land on this. Yeah. What? Let me see. It's going to land in the box, isn't it? Wait, hang on, Brett. We might need to move this stuff. How do you get out of it again? You can just. <laughs> You can just cancel it, can't you? No, you have to like flick the switches like loads of times. It falls on my head, I'm gonna hate you. <laughs> I haven't done return to home on this thing in a couple of years, so I don't know what happens. Let me get ready to move the box out of the way. I was worried about that was it works that was the easiest landing I haven't ever done I think the wingsuit is almost tail heavy tail heavy because I pulled back and it just sort of went like that and just fell it didn't he needs a bigger head maybe I need to adjust the angle of the legs I think that could adjust the forward speed somehow. yeah it should do but I adjust it up or down though So on that last drop, when I went to pull up, which does this, it sort of just went like that and just fell straight down. And I think it's to do with the angle of the legs. I had that le legs angled like that. I think that made it pull up too much. So I'm going to flatten out the legs. 
hopefully that'll give it some more incentive to fly forwards. Going to go a mega high. <laughs> Trouble is, I can feel the wind picking up now. Do I moan about the weather too much in my videos? Never. <laughs> it's just a, a British thing. You just have to moan about the weather. Yep. Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh my god, that's like a shower! <laughs> <laughs> the parachute didn't apply. Yeah, the head snapped off. So that drop was pretty big failure. The head has snapped off. I don't know if you can see that very well. Uh, and the bolt that holds the head on also holds the servo in place that deploys the parachute. So uh, yeah, this is a bit of an issue. Uh, I, I've folded up the parachute and I think the hatch still holds shut but it's very loose, so uh, we're going to give it another go with that head uh, and yeah, see if he can fly with that head. <laughs> so as I mentioned with the servo coming loose because the bolt wasn't there anymore, uh, as soon as I loaded the parachute, the, the pressure from the parachute wanted to deploy would pull the servo out and it would just deploy early. So uh, if you come down here, have a look at the, put a nice orange cable tie donated by Brent Collins to hold the servo in position when this hatch is shut. So the parachute will push down on here, hold the servo in position, and push up on here, wanting to deploy it, and it should work. So uh, I'm just going to pack it up and test it. Good as new. Well, apart from the head, but it's it doesn't need a brain, right? It's a, it's a chicken. <coughs> Chickens can fly, right? <laughs> Not very well, but they can. <laughs> To be fair, this probably flies the same as the chicken would. <laughs> <laughs> Completely out of control and just flapping its wings like, nothing's happening. Yeah. <laughs> I've built a 3D printed chicken. Flying chicken. <laughs> I wanted to simulate the flight characteristics of a chicken. <laughs> Still see it? Just about. It's moving! It's gliding! It's actually gliding! Oh. See? <laughs> that actually worked! Ooh, I nice! Trim, I trimmed out the arms a bit so it flew straight and it didn't... You know, that was like it actually made some distance, didn't it? Yeah, right, let's land the, let's land the drones. So that kind of worked, it uh, dropped very fast, had a glide ratio of, of near to vertical, but it didn't spin too much, it did sort of stabilise itself. I think possibly scaling it up, uh, either using lighter servos or the same servos and scaling it up so it's got more wing area to the weight of it, it will probably glide a bit better. Uh, yeah, it did seem to fall like that, managed to, after trimming out the arms a bit, managed to fly relatively straight. I think it needs very minute movements to turn. Uh, so when I was controlling it, it was just throwing it off too much. So uh, yeah, trimming it, trimming it out and just letting go of the controls, letting it sort itself out, worked a bit better. The parachute deployment worked pretty well, apart from one of the deployments <laughs> where the mannequin became headless. Uh, it also cracked the legs a little bit. But other than that, pretty happy with those results. Too bad the sun's come out now and I've run out of batteries. Anyway, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Please click thumbs up if you liked watching this guy drop from the sky. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if you're new to my channel, please click subscribe. Huge thank you to all of my patrons for supporting me. And if you want to support me throwing more stuff from drones, then follow this box here. And I'll see you next week. Goodbye. <laughs>